SpaceX has finally decided to carry out the Starship's first ever orbital test flight later this month. As development on the craft accelerates, the company is fast approaching a final design for the rocket. Let's take a closer look. SpaceX is a private aerospace company founded by entrepreneur Elon Musk in 2002. It is headquartered in Hawthorne, California, and is focused on developing and manufacturing advanced rockets and spacecraft for a variety of missions, including crewed missions to the International Space Station and future missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. SpaceX was founded with the goal of reducing space transportation costs and enabling the colonization of Mars. The company has made significant progress towards these goals and has established itself as a leader in the commercial space industry. One of SpaceX's most notable achievements has been its successful development and operation of the Falcon 1, Falcon 9, and Falcon Heavy rockets, which have been used to launch a variety of payloads into orbit, including satellites, cargo to the ISS, and even astronauts. In addition to its rocket development and launch services, SpaceX is also working on the development of its Starship spacecraft, which is being designed as a fully reusable launch vehicle capable of carrying both crew and cargo to a variety of destinations in space. The Starship will be launched on top of the Super Heavy rocket, which is currently in development. Elon Musk is the founder and CEO of SpaceX, as well as the CEO of Tesla Inc., a company that designs and manufactures electric vehicles and renewable energy products. Musk is known for his ambitious vision and innovative approach to business and technology, and has made significant contributions to the fields of space exploration and sustainable energy. Before founding SpaceX, Musk co-founded PayPal, an online payment system, and has also been involved in several other ventures, including the Hyperloop, a high-speed transportation system that is being developed by another one of his companies, The Boring Company. Musk's vision for SpaceX and its role in the future of space travel has inspired many people around the world, and the company has gained a large and devoted following. Its successful launches and innovative approaches to space travel have made it a leader in the industry, and it has sparked a renewed interest in space exploration among the public. One of the main goals of SpaceX is to make space travel more affordable and accessible to a wider range of customers, including government agencies, commercial companies, and even private individuals. To achieve this, the company is focused on developing reusable rockets and spacecraft, which can be used multiple times and significantly reduce the cost of space launches. In addition to its focus on reusable technology, SpaceX is also working on developing advanced propulsion systems, such as its Raptor engines, which are designed to be more powerful and efficient than traditional rocket engines. These advances are expected to help reduce the cost of space travel even further and make it more practical for a wider range of missions. While SpaceX has made significant progress towards its goals and has achieved several notable milestones, the company still faces many challenges and uncertainties. The development and operation of rockets and spacecraft is an incredibly complex and risky endeavor, and there have been setbacks and failures along the way. Despite these challenges, SpaceX remains committed to its vision of advancing space exploration and enabling the colonization of other worlds. The company has a strong track record of overcoming obstacles and achieving success, and it is well positioned to continue making significant contributions to the field in the future. Elon Musk has played a key role in SpaceX's success, providing the vision and leadership that has helped the company achieve its goals. His unconventional approach to business and his willingness to take risks have helped make SpaceX a leader in the space industry and have made him a well-known and respected figure in the tech world. The Starship is intended to be a fully reusable launch vehicle that can carry both crew and cargo to a variety of destinations in space, including the Moon, Mars, and beyond. It is designed to be launched on top of the Super Heavy rocket, which is currently in development by SpaceX. The Super Heavy rocket will provide the necessary thrust to lift the Starship into orbit, while the Starship will be responsible for carrying payloads and crew to their destination. After the initial launch, the rocket is responsible for delivering the Starship crew capsule to orbit around Earth. After it has done so, the booster will detach and steer itself towards a soft landing back at the launch pad. While this feat seemed almost impossible at first, SpaceX rockets have been doing it successfully for several years now. The next stage would involve the booster picking up a fuel tanker and carrying it into orbit as well. The fuel tanker will then be used to replenish the Starship for its voyage toward Mars. Once en route, the craft will deploy solar panels to harvest energy from the sun in an attempt 
to save precious onboard fuel for what will be an exciting and groundbreaking landing on the Red Planet. According to Musk's vision, these crafts and their crew will remain in Earth's orbit until a planetary alignment brings the Earth and Mars closer together. This is a window that opens once every 26 months. The long-term plan for SpaceX is to have many hundreds of spaceships waiting in orbit to depart en masse as part of the Mars Colonial Fleet. Perhaps the most important part for this entire plan to work is the reusability of the boosters. Musk's plan revolves around making sure that each spaceship is capable of being reused as much as possible. He states that there is no way to have a self-sustaining colony on Mars without reusability. It's a fundamental part of the plan. He also adds that if the wooden sailing ships from the old days were not reusable, the United States probably wouldn't have existed. SpaceX estimates it will be able to use each of its rocket boosters a whopping thousand times, each tanker a hundred times, and each spaceship twelve times at least. The first missions are only estimated to carry around 100 people on each ship, but gradually that number is expected to increase to more than 200. According to these estimates, putting a million people on the surface of Mars could take anywhere from 40 to 100 years after the maiden voyage. The reusability of the rockets also means that once there, the crafts can then be used to return to Earth whenever needed. After a few uncrewed cargo supply missions have already landed on Mars, the human phase of colonization will be finally ready to begin. One of the biggest hurdles that stand in the way is the Red Planet's notoriously thin atmosphere. NASA had to be extra careful when landing their Curiosity rover on the planet, which weighed a mere 2,000 pounds, and is a tiny fraction of the total payload that the manned missions will carry. This is one of the reasons why SpaceX continues to perfect its supersonic retro rocket technology, so they can gradually enter the Martian atmosphere and lower a very heavy spacecraft onto the surface using this reusable method. That's not all, though. Entering the atmosphere is another problem that needs attention. The craft needs to withstand a heated entry to the planet and perform a propulsive landing while still being capable of refueling and going back to Earth to start over again. The first few journeys would probably just drop off supplies and set up a propellant depot on the planet so return trips are possible when needed. After the supply runs are complete, humans can finally make their way to Mars. The first crew will need to rely on digging beneath the surface and dredging up buried ice. This will be used as a water source which will eventually power the entire colony. When the essential crews consisting of scientists and engineers have finally been set up, competition will start over the first few seats that can take willing individuals to the newly colonized planet. In the coming years, we can expect to see the Starship playing a key role in a variety of space-based missions, including crewed missions to the ISS, lunar missions, and even interplanetary travel. Its versatility and reliability will make it an invaluable tool for exploring the final frontier and unlocking the full potential of space travel. Reports from NASA suggest that the massive Starship vehicle could launch on its first ever orbital test flight later this month. The agency has a stake in Starship's progress. NASA picked the giant rocket as the first crewed lunar lander for its Artemis program of moon exploration. If all goes according to the current plan, a Starship will put boots down near the moon's south pole in 2025 or 2026 on the Artemis 3 mission. No Starship prototype has taken flight since May 2021, and all of its jaunts so far have reached a maximum altitude of just six miles or so. SpaceX's desire to fly an orbital mission with Starship prompted a lengthy environmental review by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, and there are still several things to finish up. That FAA review, called a Programmatic Environmental Assessment, examined Starship activities at Starbase, SpaceX's facility near the city of Brownsville in South Texas. The FAA concluded the assessment in June following numerous delays from late 2021 due to the need to consult with other agencies and deal with public comments. The FAA said this summer that SpaceX needs to take 75 actions to reduce its environmental impact on the area. Despite SpaceX founder Elon Musk saying several times a Starship would be ready to go orbital soon, Musk recently said the target was November, it seems that SpaceX hasn't quite finished with those FAA action items. The coming mission aims to heft a prototype 165-foot tall Starship vehicle into orbit atop a super heavy booster that has a height of 230 feet. The stacked hardware is the tallest rocket system ever. 
SpaceX has already conducted several static fire tests in 2022 to get Starship ready for the approximately 90-minute mission that, if successful, would see the spacecraft splash down off the coast of Hawaii. It's unclear how much prep work remains before SpaceX is ready to launch the mission, however. SpaceX's human landing system contract with NASA requires several successful spaceflight tests before Starship will be authorized to put astronauts on the moon. NASA is also seeking a second vendor for crewed Artemis landing missions, but more options won't be ready until Artemis 5 at the earliest, putting SpaceX in line for landings on Artemis 3 and Artemis 4 in about 2025 and 2027, depending on how earlier missions go. If you like this video, you may also enjoy this one, which talks about Elon Musk's new plan to colonize Venus. Do you think an early orbital test flight for the Starship is a good idea? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.